Hello friends, my name is Rohit and welcome to my channel Test and Measurement People. Today I will give you a demonstration of a smart clam meter. Yes, a smart clam meter. I have uh, in the previous videos also, I have given the demonstration of a smart multimeters, the how to use it. Now firstly, uh, now this is uh, the new product uh, launched by the company Sigma and uh, this is an AC smart clam meter it can measure only ac current so uh, we are not wasting any time and we are starting the demonstration of this video now so here is it uh, we are getting uh, uh, what we are getting in the pouch uh, we are getting the pouch the carrying case the lead set the manual the batteries are sometimes provided with the meter or sometimes they are uh, put it uh, inside the meter. So here's a small clam meter. It's uh, quite handy and quite uh, decent to hold within. Uh, the jaw size is around 24 mm. And uh, you can see uh, the branding is over here. And now you can see the specification. All the things are written over here on the meter itself. Well, the model number is 679. Uh, now we will see in the range, uh, it can measure resistance up to 60 mega ohm. The voltage uh, DC part is around 600 volt DC, eight, uh, 600 volt AC. Uh, then continuity is uh, there, which can measure up to 50 ohm. Then AC current, we can measure from 0.1 ampere to around 600 ampere. That's a good range, that's a heavy range. And uh, the capacitance which we can measure is 100 PF to 60 millifarad and uh, uh, the efficiency part well this is the uh, ncv part uh, the non-contact voltage detection we will come to uh, this thing uh, in the further video and uh, the, uh, the frequency part is uh, from 10 hertz to 20 megahertz well that's a good range uh, to measure the frequency and uh, let's uh, start with the demonstration of it i will teaching i will give you the, all the details and uh, I'm giving this video after using it for around 10 days. Uh, well, uh, the company has given me a short time to uh, just do it with it. But I told them firstly, I want to use this product. Then I will providing the demonstration of this video. So it's been around 10 days. Uh, this is a fresh instrument, which I, which I'm having with the, uh, which I have received with the company. And uh, now I'm giving you the demonstration. So uh, let's start with it. So here it is, uh, on the back side you can see there is, uh, I have already put the batteries onto it. And uh, this is the manufacturer's name and uh, you can have, you can see all the details written over here. Uh, the branding is over here and let's uh, load this is on. If there is only three switches, no rotatory switches, nothing. There's only three switches, one is to power on and off. Another, this one is to hold the reading. Uh, this is for the backlight and this is for select and this for selecting you can see there is only three parameters written uh, one is NCV one is capacitance and one is frequency all the things will be uh, detected automatically you don't have to select any range for these three parameters you have to select the range select the button otherwise all the things will be detected automatically so let's uh, start with it and firstly I want to uh, show you the backlight of it well, uh, that's a good bright white LED light, uh, LCD light, and uh, it's quite good to uh, see uh, some of my friends which are working in a low light environment can use this feature and uh, can uh, measure their readings. And uh, now I'll be opening that uh, lead set which is provided by the company. And the lead set which is provided is quite decent and uh, quite a, a good quality. So there's some protections also provided and uh, let's go with it and uh, put it, putting the black wire into the black terminal then red wire onto the red terminals and now I'll be uh, I'm having some small samples with me let's see I have a non uh, 9 volts uh, DC uh, power battery it's a quite old let's see uh, can it detect uh, uh, can it detect it easily and uh, what is the uh, value of it so here it is it's 8.43 i told you it's an old battery so the results are very fast uh, they're coming very fast and i have some another things also i have some resistances also 
So let's see uh, what the results are coming and how the results it is showing it to the onto the clamp meter. So it's a one kilo ohm one resistance. So it is showing uh, 0.989 kilo ohm and I have some other resistances also. Let's see. It's 10 kilo ohm. The results are coming very fast. It's just, it's just, uh, firstly, I will confirm it to you that I have seen lots of auto range clamp meters and multimeter, but the detection and uh, the part is uh, quite slow due to the auto range part. Because uh, manual range, you can select the range and it will detect onto that range only. But in auto range, uh, it is due to the IC and the program uh, written in the in the uh, IC that uh, it will go into each range and then it will detect and uh, then it will uh, show you the result on the screen. But uh, the results coming into this clamp meters are quite far fast. So this this was 100 uh, kilo ohm one so the results are fast and now uh, the main part is to measure the ac voltage uh, that's a major uh, thing cause most of the time uh, the instrument get damaged dot uh, that sometimes we don't uh, change their ranges but it's a smart clamp meter let us see uh, so this is an extension board which i am using now you can see the light is coming and now we'll be checking the AC voltage of this. So it is around 249.2. The results are coming fast. Now automatically it shifted to auto part. The results are fast. It was showing 249 volts AC. Uh, so no need to worry. All the things are good and uh, it is detecting automatically and now the main thing is to measure the ac current which can it uh, measure it smartly and fast let us see so let's start with the current measuring part it can measure firstly i want to confirm that it can measure only uh, ac current and it cannot measure dc current so uh, most of the people around 90 percent of the people uh, which are using clamp meter are using for ac current only some of my friends which are using for solar purpose and for the battery part are using uh, dc clamp meter so i have connected the small bulb and it is around 100 watt you can see it over here so now i will be turning it on and uh, i want to confirm it to you that uh, uh, for measuring current uh, you don't have to uh, go with the, this clubbing of this wire like this. It will be uh, the current is always measured on a single wire on uh, onto the live wire only. That this is a red one live wire, and we will be uh, checking the current in this only uh, by taking this thing into the clamp part. So let's. connecting so now it is connected and you can see that it is showing uh, that it is showing that the results are around uh, 3.398 so uh, it is taking the current in milliampere and it is showing out on the screen and we are getting around uh, three decimal point accuracy uh, so you can see the accuracy is good and it's a true rms so all the reading which is coming are precise and uh, the accuracy part is also fine so uh, for uh, for the now for the ncb part and all the other things i will guide to you ncb stands for uh, non contact voltage detections means uh, if there is some uh, breakage onto some point of uh, uh, your why then you can measure it through NCV so uh, it's just part that you can see uh, that on the top of the part you can see that this is the part this is the NCV part which detect that the uh, current the voltage is traveling onto the wire or not so firstly you have to uh, press this button and then you can see that EF is coming means uh, now it is able to uh, sense the voltage which is coming or not see now you can see there's some sort of a voltage which is coming over there and now it is not coming so if it is showing some voltages 
means it can detect some of the voltages over here now if there is some breakage over here then it will won't be showing any uh, beep sound and the uh, buzzer sound so uh, by this you can uh, check that there is some breakage onto the some uh, point or not so that's it and for, for measuring uh, capacitance you have to press it over again from the terminal only you can go and measure the capacitance part and you will, when you will be pressing it again then it goes into the frequency part and by the terminal only you have to measure the frequency of that uh, sample onto the AC uh, frequency so that's it for uh, today uh, do comment on to my video and uh, confirm me how uh, do you like my channel and uh, how do you like the video if you have some any questions also you can write it down over there and I will be responding you uh, to you very shortly uh, do like and subscribe my channel and confirm and kindly uh, do comment it and uh, do write it down all your queries thank you